over 95% of Shopify stores fail. And not because there is no demand for the products that they are selling, but because they are not following the right strategy. Now, if you are thinking that there might be something wrong with your product, you're completely wrong because e-commerce is a $6.3 trillion industry. So whether you're selling fashion, jewelry, embarrassing products, food products, pet products, whatever there is, I guarantee you that there is market for your product. So the reason why online stores fail is because they're purely not following the right strategy and they are making these key mistakes that we will unwrap right now. But now we work with over 700 online stores all around the world and we help our clients generate millions and millions of dollars in revenue. But it hasn't always been this way. In fact, earlier in my e-commerce career, I worked with Benny and I was helping him with his Facebook ads. And at that time, I thought his ads were doing great. But actually, I was completely blissfully unaware what was going underneath and soon Benny had to shut down his shop. And that's because some of the fundamentals in his business were completely flawed and no amount of money in ads would have fixed that. So the first reason why he had to shut the shop was because people were not buying enough in one purchase. In other words, he didn't have many auxiliary products that he could be selling to that one customer who was buying his at the time trending product. Now in e-commerce, we also refer to this as average order value or AOV. You will see this over and over and over. Guys, this is extremely powerful. Now, some of you might be thinking like, yeah, AOV, I heard this before, but are you actually, is your store generating over $120 in one transaction? Because if it's not, it's probably very difficult for you to make profit and actually reinvest into your ads and scale your store. So what you guys always have to understand is no matter what you are selling, always make sure that you've got auxiliary products that are complementing the purchase so that your customer is incentivized to buy more from you. Because frankly, many of you will be using paid ads to actually drive traffic to your store, to bring in the right visitors. So you are paying for every single person to come to your store. So do yourself a favor and make sure you are offering multiple products and selling multiple products in one transaction to actually set up that lasting sustainable business. Now, the second reason why Benny had to shut his shop was because his customers just weren't buying often enough from him. What does this mean? Like so many of you guys have heard of conversion rate. Conversion rate is typically somewhere between zero and 10%. Now, when I first heard of conversion rate or saw it with my own eyes, I was like, well, conversion rate, 1% or 2%, both are small numbers. Hmm. But in fact, if you have a conversion rate of 1%, it means that 100 people of the right customers have come to your store and one of them purchased. If you have a conversion rate of 2%, it means you have just doubled your sales because out of those same 100 customers or visitors to your store, you manage to get two transactions. Now I've seen in e-commerce that so many business owners, when they first get to e-commerce, they are like, what? Just two people out of hundred buy? Like, what is this? But guys, just imagine how many times have you been to a shopping mall? How many times have you just went there waiting for somebody? You were just browsing, walking through shops and never bought anything. Okay. So that is also referred to as a conversion rate. So online, it's extremely important to be targeting one type of ideal customer. Because if you're gonna have a general store, something that sells everything to everyone, that means your conversion rate at best will be sitting somewhere around the one to 2%. Now you, my friends, want to set up a long-term lasting sustainable business. You've got to have an asset that you are able to either resell or pass down to the next generation. For that, you need a higher conversion rate. You want to be aiming at the more three to 4%. So if you are aiming more at the three to 4% conversion rate, which is already a really good conversion rate in e-commerce, then you've got to be targeting somebody specific. So who is your ideal customer? Because when it comes to Benny, he didn't have ideal customer. He was like, I just have quality trending products and I'm selling them at a great price. Well, that's great. But if your ideal customer does not see yourself in your store, and if your ideal customer doesn't see your store as a specialty store, as an expert store, then they are just not going to be likely to return. 
they're not going to be likely to buy multiple products and they will also expect the discount and I presume you don't necessarily want to be discounting your products because that's going to be killing your margins. Which brings me to point number three why Benny had to shut the shop. He had to shut the shop because once again he was selling trending products that he thought were a good price at a good quality but as a result he wasn't able to get a lot of repeat customers. Now repeat purchase in e-commerce guys this is extremely crucially important. You want to have around 20% repeat customer rate which means that you want one out of five customers to come back for more and more and more and more why because guys this is your profit okay and the only way you can get a customer to come back more and more and more and buy multiple products in one transactions when you shift your mind and shift your thinking from I'm just gonna set up an online store selling widgets when you shift that thinking to I'm going to set up a million dollar brand an asset that I'm going to be able to resell or I'm going to be able to pass down to the next generation now this for some of you is a subtle shift but in terms of your results it ends up being extremely powerful shift because once you make this shift you're going from just like putting in some products nearly willy colors whatever to actually thinking about a specific customer. Now, I've observed in e-commerce, so many of you guys say, no, but my products are for all women. They're for all women between 18 to 65 years of age and anybody can buy them. Sure, anybody can buy them, but if the strategy to sell to an 18 year old versus a 65 year old is a completely different strategy because every single customer they want to get to your store and they want to see themselves. So unless you're showing your ideal customer inside the store using your product, your conversion rate will be low. Your average order will be low. Your repeat customer rate will be low and you will be forever like stuck in that hamster wheel paying for ads and like in best case scenario, you're going to be breaking even. You don't want to do that, okay? Instead, you want to set up that lasting brand around a certain specific customer guys riches are in the niches okay because these ideal customer maybe there is not going to be 500 million of them maybe there is going to be only 3 million of them but those 3 million guys like that's enough to set you up for life okay so you want to target that specific customer you want to have a store set up specifically for them be seen as the expert so that they buy multiple products in one order so that they check out more often and so that they come back over and over and over and over so guys once you implement this you will never ever have to worry about your store going bust and for those of you guys if you want to know more check out our links below we've got a free masterclass that we run live on a regular basis where i teach you this strategy in depth step by step so that you can set up that million dollar brand. Now, with that said, let me know below the, in the comments, was this helpful? Did this give you ideas on how to set up your online store and make it really profitable? If you enjoyed this video, give it a quick thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.